Hey guys, it's me Mark and today I'm going to review or do a short review on the X-Shot Skins Lock Blaster. Now this blaster is a new 2023 blaster made by X-Shot for the Skins lines and it's called the Lock Blaster and a really interesting blaster and I'll and before I talk about the features of this blaster, I'll talk about the gimmick first about this blaster. So, so the reason why it's called the Lock Blaster is because, it, as its name suggests, because it has this uh, lock here or a padlock here to to release to release this blaster. And as you can see, I cannot prime this blaster because it's locked by this passcode or a a padlock here, which is really cool. And this button here, I cannot also press too because if you press this, if you press this button, uh, it will release the mechanism to prime this blaster. But the trigger seems to be operatable. Uh, it just can't prime when you press this button. And yes, you can press this button too. But yeah, uh, you have to. I think you have to. Uh, you have to scan a, a QR code to unlock this blaster. So by by doing that, you can get the three-digit code and put it onto this blaster by rotating rotating this. Let's say, for example, you get six four seven or six four eight. You can press this button and unlock this blaster. That's just an example, not. Not, not showing, of course, the real password of this blaster because, you know, uh, the lock blaster has a random password for for each padlock of this blaster. So yeah, really a really interesting blaster. And I also love the looks of it because it has a Winchester type of look of it, so it is really cool. Oh, and, uh, and I forgot to mention something. So uh, yeah, forgot the part where I should show the back of the blaster. And yes, I will also show the features of this blaster. Starting off with the front, uh, we have here we have we have a large muzzle, which is uh, really cool. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but yeah, that's the muzzle. Really cool. And uh, ha and for some reason, this silhouette kind of reminds me of the the Nerf Doomlands Vagabond. So, yeah, I really love that silhouette. And uh, considering it's also uh, lever action, it adds up with the coolness too. And now, uh, starting up with the top here, we have a long Picatinny rail, which is the same rail as the X-Shot Insanity Blasters. So, which means that you can attach those Insanity adapters that comes with the Insanity Blasters with this thing. So, it's really cool. And here we also, here on this top, we also have this side too, which is really cool. And I think it lines up perfectly with that uh, iron side, I mean that front side right there. So that is cool. And and I really dig the skins of this uh, blaster, I'd say. Like look at those details. And it's not even paint, it's like molded already. <laughs> It's like it's already molded already to this blaster. Like you can't just chip it off. Which is really cool. And now for the center of this blaster. Now this blaster, now for the center of this blaster, here we have a it has an eight round drum, which is really cool. And what's interesting too is that it also has these uh, short dark posts. I don't know if you can see it folks. Uh I don't know. I'm not sure if you can see it, folks, but there is definitely a short dark post in here. Focus. Yeah, there's definitely a short dark post in there, like something on the the extra insanity berserko. So really cool. And yes, it also comes with the same darts, the new air pocket technology darts by Axshot. And what's interesting about this uh, this drum that the lock blaster have is that it's actually removable. There, you can see there's a spring inside of that, so you can just push this forward and remove the drum, like how it showed on the box here. So that's the oh wait yeah here. 
So you push that, then release it. They put darts in it, then push this, uh, this, the tip of the drum there, or the tip of the drum there, and uh, put the cylinder back onto the blaster. So that's really cool. And performance-wise of the blaster, uh, uh, it's like around the uh, high 70s in, in most reviews. So yeah, it's really so yeah, it's a decent blaster. For a price of around $1,399 or $15. I'm not sure if that's correct, but yeah. And now for the back of the blaster, it's basically a large lever style handle. And down here we have the the priming mechanism of the blaster, which is a lever. And yeah, it, this is actually Edshot's first time to make a lever action blaster, so that's really cool. And this blaster here, it's not, the, I mean this uh, lever here, it's not really that flimsy, it's its very large for a adult, like my dad or me, and the trigger is smooth, so yeah, that's good, and I'm not sure how smooth the prime would be on this blaster, but I've heard that it's uh, smooth with a bit of a ratcheting inside of it for some reviewers, so yeah, that's really cool. Boy, you gotta love these details in here. And yes, for below here we have some more details. And this button here that once press it, you you can prime this blaster. Or I think there's another button there, but once you press it, another button will appear at the other side, much like a safety or something. So yeah, really cool. And yes, here we have the passcode. You can uh, scan the QR code and find it. Press the button to do that again. And yeah, really cool. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, that's about the features of the blaster. Oh, and I forgot to mention, since the bar, since the cylinder or the drum of this blaster can is removable, uh, its mod potential of it is gonna be really great. Since you can just take the cylinder out and uh, cut the dark post, and you can, you can convert it into a uh, half length. So yeah, that's really cool. And since I haven't uh, have a, a lever action blaster, I guess this would be good for Christmas, I guess, or even my birthday, or something like that. Anyways, that's my review, and uh, mark out, and stay tuned for my videos.